Yom Tov and Lashana Tova. This is the first day of October 2019. You're watching Messianic Moment Ministries. I'm Stephen Brunk, and well, you know who you are. And we're talking about the parable of the talents in Matthew 25, 14 through 30. And I'm sure many here know that parable, but how many really understand what's being said here? Now, just to start off on the internet, I found this etymology of the word talent. It's interesting. What it said is that the use of the word talent to mean gift or skill in English and other languages originated from an interpretation of this parable, the one we're talking about in Matthew, sometime late in the 13th century. And the reason I found that very interesting is because talents, meaning gifts or skills, is what we're really talking about here, even though most people in the parable think they're talking about just money. Now, I think in general, most people recognize that the meaning behind this parable is that we should use what God gave us. Okay? And the one servant who didn't use what was given to him was thrown out into the darkness, whereas the ones that gave back the talents they received with interest were welcomed into their master's joy. Now, what that means, it doesn't mean that they were saved because of that. All right, We can't earn salvation. What it means is that they were allowed to share in God's joy, which he feels when his children do what pleases him. It's a nice story. And I'm sure that most people concentrate on the two faithful servants who were welcomed into their master's joy. I mean, really, who wouldn't want to associate themselves with those two? The question is, what makes us think that we can be like those two? Is being a good person good enough? I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. It's because Yeshua himself said that no one is good except his Father in heaven. You can find that in Mark 10, 18. So since Yeshua, the Messiah, the Son of God, is telling us that no one can be good but his Father in heaven, I think we can be pretty sure that no human is ever going to be good, at least not in the eyes of the Lord. So, you know, that kills the be good person and you get to go to heaven argument right there once and for all. So, no, if no one can be good, then what do we need to do to be considered a good and faithful servant? Well, the answer, it, it's right here in this parable. We need to take the talents, the gifts that God has given us, and increase them. This is where the idea that a talent is more than just a unit of monetary value comes from. Talent is a gift. It's something that we receive from God without asking, and which God wants us to use for his glory, not ours, but for his glory. Now, my talent is teaching. I've had this confirmed to me independently by many people over the years. And as well as teaching, <laughs> believe it or not, God has given me a sense of humor, which has helped me very much in being able to maintain interest during my teaching. It's also gotten me into a lot of trouble when I didn't use it in a way that glorifies God. That was my fault. So the talents God has given me, well, they're increased each time I, well, let's say I get a new subscriber to my website or my YouTube channel. Hint, hint. Or let's say when someone buys one of my books, my talents are increased. Hint, hint. And I believe, and I pray, seriously, I believe and I pray constantly that those, those books, as well as every one of these messages, is glorifying God and helping people to better understand His Word. I mean, that's why on the bottom of my homepage, you'll see I quote from Hosea 4.6, My people destroyed from lack of knowledge. This ministry is a teaching ministry. I'm not trying to make converts or to be a missionary. I just want to give people the correct information and they can decide what they're going to do with it. Let's talk about you. What talents did God give you? And don't feel bad if you aren't sure, but please don't cop out by saying, oh, I'm a good parent, or yeah, I'm a good friend. Because Yeshua already killed that whole argument when he said even sinners will not give their child a snake if they ask for a fish, or give a friend a stone if they ask for bread. Look, even sinners share good things with those whom they love and who love them. So just being what the world considers to be a good person Frankly, it's no different than burying your talents. 
When God spoke to Abraham, he did what God said. Not after thinking about it, not after waiting for the harvest, but the very next morning. And even though Moses, yeah, he took a little convincing, he eventually learned to do as God said right away. In fact, many of our biblical heroes did as God said pretty much as soon as God said it. And the ones that didn't or hesitated for a while, well, you know what? We don't know who they are because they didn't make it into the Bible. Our God is a God of action, not of sitting around watching for signs and waiting to be given what you need. He wants us to demonstrate our faith by starting something as if we already knew what was going to happen. So you need to determine what talent or talents God has given you and get started increasing them. If you are compassionate, volunteer at a senior's home or with people in need. If you're good with money, volunteer at your, to help at your house of worship with the accounting or at nonprofits who could use the help. If you're good with animals, Volunteer at an animal hospital. You know, my wife Donna has been volunteering for over four years at a local wildlife hospital. The idea is that you need to increase your talents so that when you face the Lord, you will have something to give Him that shows you have increased what He gave you. All right, sit back, because here's the last thought that most people don't want to consider. These three servants were already members of the master's household, right? They were his servants. They were already a part of his household. Think about that. It means they were all already saved. But the one who failed to do anything with the talents God gave was kicked out. Think about what that means. So, go forth this very day. And if you know what talents God has given you, Start to increase them. If you're not sure what your talents are, think of what you do that makes you feel really good and start there. Anyone, anyone can bring glory to God simply by showing how talented they are and giving the credit to the Lord. Amen. So I thank you again for being here. And please, if you happen to miss the hints I gave, Subscribe to the website. Go to the icons in the corners here. Click on them. Subscribe. Click the little, little bell thing so you know when I'm doing a post. And go back to the website in the right-hand margin. Subscribe button because these are different lists. I'm not selling your names and, and, and addresses. It just lets you know when I do another, um, another post. Also, please like my Facebook page. It's, uh, you can find it at Stephen R. Brook. Or you can go to Messianic. You can go to uh, Facebook, Stephen R. Brook forward slash messianic moment. There's a link to it on the uh, written version of this, so that's easier. Just go back to the website, click on that link at the bottom, and ask others to invite, uh, to like it. Invite others, family, friends, whatever. Help me, you know, increase my talents. I appreciate it, because by helping anyone increase their talents, you're kind of increasing your talents. So, we can all help each other. And um, other than that, I think uh, I want to thank you again for being here. I want you to have a blessed day, and until next time, the Hitrot and Baruch Hashem.